what is up everyone and um i am back here with another elden ring video walkthrough well walkthrough video and uh today we are continuing our playthrough um so right down here we are gonna left off as to um i believe this is where we uh this is the same place where we were trying to find um, that thing to give to Ronnie. I forgot what the item was called, but we are down here today to continue our, uh, well, we're going to do this Ancestry Woods walkthrough because, you know, in a couple of videos ago, I did say that, um, I couldn't because, you know, my stream was lagging and, you know, it was out of place. So, yeah, um, now everything should be good to go and good and good now. So there's going to be th two parts of this. So essentially what we're going to be doing is in this area we are um we're just going to find these little pillar things, light them up, beat the boss, and then we're just going to do the same thing down there. And I'll also tell you guys where the map is as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh without further ado, let us start this video off. All right. So we're down here and um yeah. So I'm going to show you guys in a sec of what we're going to be doing. So, basically, you see the pillar over there. So, yeah, there is going to, in this, like, area, there's going to be six of those that we're going to have to light up. So, what you do is go to it. Well, yeah, you go to it, and then you're just going to light it up, and then, yeah, you're just going to light it up, and fire is going to come up. So, we're going to have to go around this area and find six of these pillars. And when we find six of those, six of these pillars, um, it's going to say a message at the bottom. It will say something about, I can't remember, but yeah, a text drop at the bottom, meaning that it grants us uh, the permission to fight the boss of this area. So there is two types uh, of the same bosses of this underground area. So yeah, so we found the, we found the first two. So those girls that are singing actually buffs the enemies around her. That's, yeah, so I believe it heals them if they take damage or boost their attack power, but I, I don't remember. But yeah, you want to take that girl out first because she buffs these guys. So you want to take the little girl out, you want to take the big girl out first. So yeah, just jump attack her and then kill her right afterwards. Okay, so now we're going to have to kill these guys because the pillar is right here next to us. Jump attack him. So yeah. Let's get their items and stuff, get their clothing, and then let's get this one, which is a ghost glow for four, which is used to level up um, spirit ashes. So yeah, let's light this up. So this is going to be three out of six so we only need to find three more so there's two more over here so there's one over here which is guarded by a bunch of rats and there's also an item that i want to show you guys over here so you're going to see this house ahead uh, but first we're going to light this up but there's going to be a bunch of rats near us so we're going to have to kill some of these guys first before we uh take this one over here Let's take this one out. And we'll light this one up. And we're just going to take the rest of these guys out. Well, actually, no. We're just going to we're just gonna ignore them. So, yeah. Let's go over here. So, we're going to go by this cliff and jump to this edge right here. And then jump down. And there's going to be a few items we got to pick up down here. Like, you know, a bunch of flowers and butterflies. Stuff like that get the bugs over here and you know just good stuff well I would say good stuff but you know I'm gonna go over here and get this ghost glover 5 and an nascent butterfly all crafting materials make sure you collect them get this as well go the room and you're gonna go up this little uh, this little brick thing right here so jump on this and jump up here and then you're gonna walk up here and there'll be this little bridge so 
There'll be this little crack on the ground. You're just gonna jump over it, one hop. And there's gonna be another one, so one hop again. And then jump down to this little thing and jump down one more. So there's gonna be an enemy here that is gonna be guarding a chest behind her. So we gotta kill her first and we will open the chest. So let's do that. She'll do this move, basically just back away and bait it. It's not really a big deal. Just send her and kill her off. Or roll into it. Then you're gonna open that chest, which is going to be the rat. Which is basically going to be the same weapon she was using on us just now. So yeah, it, it basically sprays like blue smoke. And if, if an enemy is in that blue smoke, it's going to take damage. And it is an item. Not a... Yeah, it's an item. But when you use this uh, rat, it's going to take a lot of FP. Well, not even that. Not a lot of FP, but it's going to take some away. My bad. But yeah, that's basically it. There's not really much to this. Just you can just spray your enemies so they can take the image. But yeah, that's about it. So now uh, we can just um, we can just travel back to uh, our grace. So yeah, we're down here. So yeah, we're underground. Yeah, we're gonna travel to this area. Huh? And there's not really much in terms of like useful that much useful items over here it's this area is not really a requirement to be it's pretty optional so you don't have to do this so if you are watching this playthrough you, you don't have to do this part you could just skip all this including the quest lines and stuff like that they're not a requirement as well they're just you know just something that you could just do you know, usually if you complete all quest lines of NPCs, you'll get good rewards from them and stuff like that. And yeah, so on, so on. So there's going to be another one over here, but it's going to be guarded by this red wolf. So you will recognize this red wolf. Um, we did fought this, like, I guess about a month ago when I first started this playthrough. See, so yeah, this, I, this is it, yeah, a red wolf. So this is the same wolf that we fought in the um, Magic Academy. Um, she was a boss now, or he, or it. Now it has become a regular enemy. So the attacks are pretty much the same as when you fight, fought it at the um, magic school or, or whatever. It's just yeah, she um, she leaps kind of far. If she detects you, she will leap at you at a far range. So you do not want to. Um, caught up in her range so after she goes away we're gonna go in and light the pillar and this should be the last one no 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 this is the this is five out of six so yeah the last one is far down there where the um where we can fight the boss at so, so yeah, we, yeah that was the fifth that was that was the second last one now we gotta find the last last one so yeah, just pass all these. Well, first, yeah, just pass all these enemies, and then you're just gonna go straight. Grab this as well. Let's go slow for it. Four, and the blast pillar is gonna be over here. Make sure you grab the items and um, plants over here. It'll be very useful in the future. So yeah, light this up. Grab some plants. Yeah. So powers gathered and blah blah blah. Yeah, you'll get that message when you light all of them up. Again, you gotta light six of them in order to activate the boss of this, you know, section of the underground area. So after you, um, well first, yeah, let's play some items here first. Let's see what they are. Okay, two knives. I thought there was a golden seed down here, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess there is none down here at the moment. So, yeah. So, uh, so let's get this one. Alright, yeah. So, let's go up. So, 
when you go far down, you will see this reindeer, and it's gonna glow blue. Now, if it glows blue, that means you have access to um, go fight the boss. So you wanna touch the you wanna touch the horn throwing remains. And uh, yeah, it's gonna teleport you to this room, and you're basically gonna fight this reindeer. So it's kind of gonna come back to life, and you're gonna fight it. So I'm not gonna use a spirit ass for this one. I'm just gonna solo it just so I can show you guys what it does and stuff. So pretty much when you spawn in, he's gonna far, spawn far away. It's gonna come up, and um, usually you know, like that. So that comes with two consecutive attacks each time. Usually he does the third one. See, that one was the third one, so watch out for that one. And he's gonna do the spray attack, just stay at a great distance from them. And pretty soon he's gonna do three hops. And when he does that, before he, oh no, he's gonna do four hops. Before he does the fourth one, you're gonna roll into it and then you're gonna attack him. So he's, I believe he's about to do it, no he's not, so yeah just go away from that, spray attack, roll into that, and attack him, and watch out for the smoke, and for that back hit, roll into that, and hit him, back away from this kick, okay, yeah so whenever he does that spray, you can just stay at a um, far distance from him. Before the fourth hop, we'll roll and then hit him. Okay. And you want to roll into that knot, roll back way. Run back away from that smoke. Dodge this one. And pretty much when you dodge the first one, you can just start attacking him. There's really no. Yeah. It's easier to stay under him instead of, you know away from him. That way you can get more damage from him. So you can do more damage from him. So roll into him. Attack him. And surprisingly this boss takes a lot of damage so yeah you shouldn't have much problem there. Pretty much he's just gonna do this until you know you kill him. So yeah back away from that. I mean he's gonna attack him so He's gonna have this move where he's going to heal. Usually when he is, when his health is kinda low. But um if you look around the map, you will see some like spirited animals here. So whenever he uses that healing move, he's gonna kill all the animals around us. Well he's gonna kill the deer. So uh, he's gonna disappear. Attack him when he can. not really that difficult. You take a lot of damage. Back away from that. So yeah, you want to watch out for that because that can actually kill you. You want to want to time your dodge for that one. Okay. Smoke. Got a blade and attack him. Okay, he's gonna do it again, I believe. Yep. You wanna... No, he's gonna do the hop. So yeah, just hop. Just roll out the way from when he does that. I haven't seen that move in a long time. Yeah, you wanna roll into that, not backwards. So this boss isn't really that difficult. Um, dude, I just haven't fought him in a while, but he's um he's not that difficult. So I might switch this weapon because this weapon isn't really like. I know I might switch to the Great Moon. I mean, cause this one, the one I'm using does frostbite. You can get the sword. I will tell you guys how you can get the sword I'm using later down through the playthrough. But um, for, for this one, we're gonna use this. Because usually you can just spam your stuff from the far away and just avoid all of the attacks. But yeah. Mostly you just want to stay under him. You don't want to back away when he does his attack. Dodge the back hit. Back away from the smoke. He's going to 
here. That's your best time to get your hits in before he uh, teleports to a different area. And there is another boss of this. It's at if there's another type of boss that is basically the same thing as this guy. Um, but if you kill him, if you kill um, any of them, both of them give out gives out different rewards. So I guess they're both worth doing. Yeah, he's healing. So when his health is at a low like state, he's gonna start using that healing move. He doesn't have like a second phase or anything. He's basically just gonna start healing. So yeah, just avoid that smoke. He's gonna do that um, roll thing. He's gonna time your roll and roll through that. And attack when you can. Healing. And if you're by that, you're gonna take damage from it too. We're gonna keep doing our attack. Almost got killed there. So yeah, when you take a lot of damage from bosses, you want to back away from a great distance before you start healing. You don't want to heal right in front of the boss. You want to back away at a far distance so you can heal. You don't want to heal right close to the boss. So back away from the smoke. I guess that worked. Got him before he healed. And there we go. If you beat him, you will get his remembrance. So his remembrance basically is his axe, and he has a talisman. Um, I don't think his weapon is really all that useful or good, but his talisman is pretty decent. So I guess you can do this again. You don't have to beat this boss; it's pretty optional. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. The next area we are going to go into, we will be going into in a second. Well, actually, we might go there last in the next video. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's going to be it. But, um, you can go here. oh, yeah. So, what we want to go to next is um, down here. See, so yeah, we're going to go to this next area. So to go there, we can go all the way down there, turn this way, and you're going to fall into this pillar right here. And then you're going to slip between the corners, and then you're just going to go right over here. And carefully... You're going to jump to this little ledge right here. It's going to be a little difficult. There you go. You're just going to jump down. Check to see if there's any items up here you need to get. A mushroom. Okay. Just going to go down. And there's going to be a talisman right down here. And um, this talisman will raise your focus. Alright, so when you come down here, you will get this item, you get this talisman, which raises your focus. You get this Celestial Dew, and then you get this item, which is a smithing stone, which is used to make your weapons, upgrade your weapons, make them stronger, so yeah. So the one that we picked up greatly raises your focus, I believe, so yeah. I want to go down here, well actually let's look over here to see if there's um anything over here we need to get. Okay, there isn't. So, go this way. And before we go down there, let's, I need to see if there's um anything we need to go into this direction. See if there's anything. If not, then I'll skip um, past this.
There is. Okay. Smithing stone five. Yeah. All right. So go over this way. We're gonna go back. All right. Now you're gonna go down here. Jump on this. Fall onto, onto this ledge. And you're going to carefully fall onto this head right here. Turn a bit and fall onto this pillar. Go straight down. And we are going to need to find... And there's going to be there's going to be an incantation down here as well we need to get. So go to this cave. And you're going to kill this little ball, and ball bug over here. If you kill him, you'll get this incantation. Which is great for or what color oracular whatever you call it bubbles. I've never really messed with this incantation, so we're gonna search this area a little bit, see if there's any um, items over here. Let's see any items we need to collect over here. And, uh, there's not really many, so yeah. At some point, we're gonna go down there at some point in the next video I believe or possibly this video who knows but um actually it might be this video so yeah if you come over here there will be this enemy right here if you look closely I um, mean yeah, there's gonna be that this enemy over here you don't gotta fight him it's an optional boss you don't have to I think we fought that guy before, but it was a lightning guy. I can't remember his name. This was a while ago when I did the Ronnie quest line. But, um, <coughs> yeah, so you're just gonna go straight. You're just gonna go west, get this item a little, get this item. And then you're just going to uh, jump down off of the sledge. Keep going. You will see this golden seed plant over there, so make sure you collect the golden seed. And there's going to be this little cave that will have an item in there. I believe it's a great rune, so go past this little bridge. And then go to this cave. Um, this lantern so I can see then get this little item moon art so now we go back to the way we are supposed to go so gonna go straight no so yeah you're just gonna go straight back to where you found the golden seed plant and yeah just head straight and we will get these fillers the next video just not in this video yeah we'll do that next video that i will cover that so oh uh, you will see an item down there so yeah we need to kill this bug because killing it will give you a, um, a skill it's a pretty I don't even think that this is... Eh. I don't know about this uh, skill. Uh, you'll see. It's called Square Off. I'm not too sure about this skill. It's It it could go both ways. It's good when you're up close to your opponent. But there's not really good properties with it, in my opinion. But yeah. You will see this portal. You're just going to go through it. And it will travel you to this... Um, to... I believe a neck to buy a pillar, I guess. Let me see. No, it doesn't. Okay, but you will tell you teleport to an item. Smith, somber smithing stone too. So yeah, there will be a grace um, across from here. So yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this video. So next video, we're just gonna continue this new way down here. We're just gonna continue this uh, new direction. See ya.
that is basically going to be it for this one so yeah next video again we're going to do the sophia riverbanks walk through down here and um i'm just going to show you guys you know all the items you can get from down here that is important but yeah that's going to wrap it up and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video